Hello, and welcome to an extra mini episode of Love and Murder. Are you a true crime fan who loves analyzing crime cases and discussing the unsettling motivations behind them? Then make sure to subscribe to our podcast so you won't miss any of these cases. In today's episode, we'll cover the story of a Texas woman charged with murder after allegedly punching a pregnant woman and causing her to lose her child, including details of the incident and the legal implications of a homicide charge related to the death of a fetus in Texas. So there's been a pretty intense situation going down in Texas lately. Apparently, a woman named Sherry Aziza Akil has been charged with murder after she was accused of punching a pregnant lady in the stomach. Sherry was actually in jail already, and they had to take her to the hospital because they thought she might try to hurt herself. But unfortunately, things ended up getting worse instead of better. While at the hospital, Sherry apparently punched a hospital staff member right in the stomach. And that's not even the worst part. The staffer was pregnant at the time. They had to rush her to the trauma unit for medical help. But sadly, it was already too late for the unborn baby. The doctors did an ultrasound and found that it no longer had a heartbeat. Let's go back a bit. As I said, Sherry was already in jail, and this was for credit card abuse. She'd been arrested on April 10th, 2023. Just two days after that, she was arrested again. This time for allegedly driving under the influence. Days after that, Sherry's methamphetamine possession case was back in action posing new legal risks for her. Sherry had a history of meth possession charges and even pleaded guilty in June 2021 to receive three years of community service, 160 hours to be exact, while also facing three years of deferred adjudication. Sadly, she was later found guilty and put on a seven-year probation period, with even more motions to revoke community supervision filed. The judge, however, found her mentally competent during that time, Court records show that she was hit with a $1,500 surety bond for the financial criminal case, then the new arrest for allegedly driving under the influence, intentionally operating an illicit game room, and now murder charges for punching the pregnant woman in the stomach, causing her to baby to lose its heartbeat. Under Texas law, this is a capital crime if the person is under the age of 10, and the definition of in person means a human being who is alive, including an unborn child, at every stage of gestation from fertilization until birth. Sherry had been charged accordingly. Her defense attorney, Kathy Lothorpe, just got assigned to the case. News outlets spoke to her about the case, and she said that this kind of thing is actually fairly uncommon, but still happens from time to time. She's not sure what's going to happen from here, but she's definitely got her work cut out for her. Subscribe to stay updated on the latest episodes of Love and Murder 